Greetings. We now live in a world where the sea is rising and the land is sinking. A recent 15-year study from Virginia Tech asks the simple questions. Where is the land sinking and by how much? But since we're getting technical here, we got to call for what it is, subsidence. And to the researcher's surprise, almost the entire East Coast is experiencing subsidence. So I sat down with Dr. Manu Sher Shirzai, whose main takeaway after conducting this study was that in some locations, the rate of sea level rise isn't that important because the rate of subsidence is higher. For a person standing on the coast, it doesn't matter whether sea goes up or land falls, the effect is the same. In fact, in some locations around the Chesapeake Bay and here in Hampton Roads, the land is sinking twice as fast as sea level rise, which just elevates the risk of flooding. So how does this happen? First off, subsidence is attributed to glacial isostatic adjustment which is just the land under our feet adjusting to the lack of weight that was due to the lack of ice that was there thousands of years ago. Imagine Kahl the cat is the ice that coated the earth 16,000 years ago during the last ice age. See an indentation in the cushion? As the ice melts, the parts that were once lifted up will settle back down. But here's the rub. That's all natural. And if you haven't heard, there's like 8 billion people on this planet. So naturally, that's only 20 to 30% of it. The remaining 70 to 80%, Dr. Shirzai points towards groundwater pumping and infrastructure limiting sediment from reaching the coastlines. If we manage to find a way to increase supply of the water, so for example, through rivers, through treating wastewater, that can replace the, the groundwater use and that's, that would reduce the land subsidence. So no, we're not gonna sink into the ocean and float away but will be challenged, just as societies and communities have in the past, on how to adapt. Steve Fendero, 10 on your side.